hi YouTube, I have an incredibly small kitchen. So, sorry about the framing, but I can't really do anything else. It's not small so much as it is narrow and long, and I can't get my camera any farther away than it already is, so this is what you're going to have to deal with. So, before I made a video, and at the beginning of the video, I showed you a pot full of spaghetti sauce. And it turned out that that was the most delicious spaghetti sauce that I've ever made by myself. So I'm going to make it again and show you what I did. Things that you need for spaghetti. A pot of water, which I have already turned on and is not hot yet. Meat! In my house, we use turkey. Another thing that you're going to need for a good spaghetti dinner. Spaghetti! Wheat spaghetti is better for you than spaghetti that is not made of wheat. Another ingredient that's crucial to the spaghetti making process is... Pre-made spaghetti sauce! Because you don't have time to crush a bunch of tomatoes and make it from scratch. I'm gonna get funky and creative with this pasta sauce because that's what I did last time and it turned out pretty good. However, last time I didn't have any of this. Stubbs barbecue sauce in smoky mesquite flavor. Why not? Some more ingredients that you're going to need to make Dully's special pasta sauce are spices. Those are like the most important part, really. So what I'm going to be using is this granulated California garlic, because we have a California theme today. It says California on my shirt. So garlic, salt or powder, or if you're not lazy, like actual garlic, you know, chop it up, put it in there, whatever. The next thing that you're going to want to put in here as a spice is this. And this totally ties into the Stubbs barbecue sauce. Sweet mesquite seasoning. I like mesquite. And I mean, oh my, oh, it just, it smells so good. The last two things that I'm going to be putting in my pasta sauce are things that you probably want to put in yours too, even if you're not following my recipe. Salt! And pepper! So now that you have all of your ingredients laid out, laid out, hmm, laid out carefully even, now you can start cooking pasta. So, I mean, I've got the water starting to go. It hasn't started to go yet. I need another pot for the actual sauce to go in and the one that I need is right there in the sink so I'm gonna wash it which means that I'm gonna turn the camera off no I'm not because then it'll be yes I am I'm gonna turn it off and I'll come right back in a minute I'm back so things look a little bit different now because I had to shuffle the pots around again because of reasons. What you're gonna do, since this water is gonna take even longer to boil now because I've gone and moved it to an yet another burner, what you're gonna do is start with the sauce because I'm impatient and I like to eat the sauce while I'm waiting for the noodles to finish. So you're gonna start with your turkey breast or, you know, chicken or beef or whatever you like to put, or no meat. If you're a vegetarian, you don't even have to put meat in it. I put meat in it because I love meat. If I had another one of these, I'd put them both in. So you're going to take it and you're going to cut the turkey package open. You know, you should really cut away from yourself. That's how accidents happen, kids. You know, I should also put that down on a surface, but I'm a rebel. And I'm constantly on the highway to the danger zone. What I would suggest is that if you are using meat, you use meat that is not frozen because that just takes longer to cook. This is totally not uh, frozen at all. That was just kind of gross. I should probably wash my hands now. This is raw poultry, and I don't know if the same thing applies to turkey that does chicken, but you don't want to touch raw chicken and then not do anything about it. Ooh, ah. I'm dropping turkey bits. No! Turkey bits! Okay, so clean up your horrific turkey mess, because, you know, that's the nice thing to do. Turn down the heat on that burner because you had it all the way up so that you could boil the water. But now there's not water on that burner, so it doesn't need to be that high. It's really smelling like hot, wet metal right now, and that's not the best smell in the world. 
So, you know, deposit turkey into pot thusly. Okay, so jazz hands, whatever. Now that you've got, uh, I have to wash my hands. So I'm gonna wash my hands. Mmm, turkey-licious. Grab one of these things, or a wooden spoon, or a spatula, or whatever you use to do this. So, I mean, don't stop believing. Hold on to that feeling. I can't sing. And I'm not actually going to show you what's going on in here, because that would require unplugging and moving my camera. Well, maybe I'll bring it over here to you. Yes, I will show you what's going on in here. That's some raw turkey in there. And some partially cooked turkey. So keep cooking your turkey. Your water, just let it go, do its thing. It's starting to bubble just a little bit. You want it at like a boil, you know? I mean, boiled water. If you're Hannah Hart, you'll put a pot on top of it. I'm gonna put a lid on top of it just in case she ever sees this and appreciates the fact that you don't have to do that. The water will still boil, but I'm going to do it anyway for her. <sighs> so this is the fun part where you wait and stir. Oh, you can, um, you could add some spices to this right now. I'm just going to spice it up a little bit right now. So, I mean, I love garlic, so I'm really super liberal with the garlic powder. And once you get like the spaghetti sauce in there, it's not super, super strong. But I like there to be enough in there that I can actually taste it and I can tell, oh, somebody put garlic in this. Otherwise, it's like, why bother? Some people just do a pinch. It's like, well, you can't taste that at all. Like, how sensitive are your taste buds? And the sweet mesquite. Don't put a whole lot of extra salt and pepper if you use this because there's already salt and pepper in here. So this stuff, like I said, is kind of hard to get out, so you really kind of have to... And again, I'm liberal because what the hell's the point of it if you can't taste it? And it smells so good. I know this is super cliche to say, but I wish y'all had smell-o-vision. Because mm, this stuff is just working up in here. It's so good. Ooh. So, okay, pro tip, don't fling turkey everywhere. Now is the moment that I've been waiting for because now I'm going to get to eat it while I'm waiting for the noodles. Which, um, ouch, that's really hot. Don't do what I just did. See, this is why nobody puts lids on things, Hannah, when they're boiling them, because shit gets hot. So, woo, that's done. I mean, I guess it does make it go faster. So you guys wanted a whole bunch of steam in your face, right? Because, I mean, that's what I'm getting. This is actually, it's good. It's good for the pores. So now is the fun part where you put the sauce in. And I'm going to do that right now. You can just sing along with me if you know the words to the song uh, that I'm about to make up off the top of my head right now. Spaghetti sauce, spaghetti sauce, I really, really, really like spaghetti sauce. It's freaking delicious and it tastes like tomatoes and it makes my belly happy. Spaghetti sauce. I'm going to put that on iTunes for sure. And you could buy it for $5.99. So I'm going to thin this out a little bit more with the secret ingredient. Oh, it's so good. Like, I don't know how this is going to work. A barbecue sauce in spaghetti sauce. I really don't know if this is going to taste terrible or not, but I'm going to do it anyway. How can it taste terrible? This stuff is delicious. It's all delicious. So, I mean, that's like two positives equals a positive, though. So, I mean, how could I possibly go wrong? So I'm just going to stir that in. Oh my god, it smells so good. Up in here like I knew it would. That's going to be on iTunes too. So I mean, you can't even see that. But I mean, it's it's good. It smells fantastico. I like to sing when I cook. Can you tell? I'm going to eat some of this right now. Mary, mother of God. That is pasta sauce. That is pasta sauce. Sauce! So since the water has been boiling for like ever now and I haven't bothered to put the noodles in yet, I'm gonna whoo, 
salt that biatch. And while I'm at it, a little bit of salt in here too. Like I said, the mesquite stuff already has salt in it. I like to be able to taste it. I like to have that bite and know, ooh, that's really salty. Not really salty, but salty enough that you, f you get that bite. So I put more... I put more salt in than normal people would probably. And now the pepper. I don't even know. There we go. Okay, that's good enough. I mean, you know, just do whatever you want. Eyeball it. However much you want in there, it's up to you. Now that I have completely screwed around with the sauce for like 10 minutes, and there's still no noodles in the pot, and the water is boiling, I'm going to put noodles in the pot. Okay, there's a lot of people in my house that is going to eat spaghetti, so I'm probably just going to do, like, the rest of this package. Because we'll probably end up with a whole lot of extra noodles, like we always do. So I'm actually not going to do the whole thing. I don't know what I'm doing. Yes, I am. Whatever. I'll just make more sauce if we run out of sauce and still have noodles left. Whoop! So anyway, noodles are boiling. Um, and these take, I don't know, 9 to 12, 13 minutes, something like that. So I don't even know what time it is. And I still don't know what time it is. I don't need the compass. Why does the compass look so much like a clock? To confuse me. Timer! Let's do... 11 minutes! When the timer ends, this is the sound you're going to hear. Seems appropriate. So, I mean, really, that's it. This is the part where I sit here and I eat the pasta sauce until the noodles are done. So, I was just looking in the cabinet for anything else that I could put into the sauce, like cubed tomatoes or diced tomatoes or whatever. Instead, look what I found. Mandarin oranges. There's like four cans of these. They are so mine. Noodles in the pot, pot, mommy's looking hot, hot. Pasta please, pass the cheese, spaghetti hits the spot, spot. Grab a plate, mmm, it's great. Come and get it. Before I forget, comment below. You can thumbs up the video, like it, whatever you want to call it. Um, subscribe to my channel up above. There will be lots more exciting videos like this in the future. I promise you. Um, share it with your friends, you know. If, if you know somebody that loves spaghetti and is always looking for new ways to make sauce, how much of a coincidence is that? It's like, you have to share it with them at that point. Oh, comment down here and tell me if you make this. Tell me if you do this and if you like it, definitely. Um, or tell me other things that you want to see me cook. Link to a recipe or just say, hey, you should try to do this and then I'll go find my own recipe. Um, or I'll just make it up, you know. Tell me if you want me to just make something up and I'll just, literally, I will go through my kitchen and just throw a bunch of junk together and see if it tastes good. Or challenges, you know, challenges. I will freaking do the cinnamon challenge. I will do the chubby bunny challenge. Like, I'll do it. But only if somebody asks me to first. I'll do it. Please, somebody ask me to do it. I'll do it. I swear to God, I'll do it. So yeah, uh, do all of those things. Like, subscribe, comment, share these videos with your friends. Um, and give me suggestions for things that I can do in the future, please, 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 give me suggestions. I would love to hear them and do them. Noodles are done. Bye.